seems to be a bit of activity underneath there. Maybe the tadpoles have just hatched. Look, look, look. It's a terrapin trying to eat the tadpoles or the, the eggies. That's fascinating. I can't believe it. Isn't that amazing? And I'm pretty sure it's not going for the foam. I'm pretty sure it's going for the tadpoles. Unfortunately, this is not the water polo champion of uh, terrapins. It's unable to tread water to halfway, half of its body out of the out of the water. Push! <laughs> Yeah, no, I, it's not getting a lot. Maybe he's just sort of sucking them off as they emerge from the foam. He's going... <laughs> that is pretty comical. Do you think you'll get a better view? Let me go back slightly. Oh my goodness. This is... He's, he's not very clever either. I mean, there are a bit more low-hanging fruit there. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. That is ridiculous. Yeah, Joy, I don't know what the chemical makeup of the foam is. Uh, so I couldn't tell you what it's made of, I'm afraid. I just know that it's something that protects the tadpoles and the eggs, or the eggs specifically. Oh, there we go. Nice big piece of cotton candy. And another inspirational jump. Oh, that is amazing. Are they known to eat? No, tadpoles? they'll eat tadpoles, yeah, yeah, they're carnivores. He is literally so close he can toast it, isn't he, sticks and stones? Absolutely correct. There, that was a good bite. I wonder if he's getting eggs there or if it's just foam. That's hilarious. He's getting quite good. He's practiced hard. Oh, he's doing very well. I think he's going to I think he's going to get sick from all of this cotton candy. Yes, Linda from California, you say a live terrapin hunt, yes, not something you see every day. Look, I don't think it's going to compete with a cheetah streaking across the Serengeti Plains in pursuit of a Thompson's gazelle, or lions taking on a buffalo, but it's interesting. One can't see this appearing on an episode of Planet Earth. <laughs>